You say that the government should investigate your son's death. There are men who came here looking for him. Who were they? And what did they want? The untimely demise of world-renowned marathon runner Kelvin Kiptum has sent ripples of doubt and suspicion through both his devoted fan base and grieving family. The big question on everyone's minds is, was Kiptum's tragic death a mere accident or the result of unseen forces seeking to silence the rising Kenyan star who had swiftly ascended to fame? Let's find out. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Now, Kiptum's father, gripped by grief and suspicion, alleges foul play in his son's demise. Just days prior to the incident, four unidentified individuals appeared at the family residence, inquiring about Kiptum's whereabouts. Without even excusing themselves or divulging their true identities or intentions, these men reportedly demanded to see Kip Tomb. You say that the government should investigate your son's death. There are men who came here looking for him. Who were they? And what did they want? They just came home without introducing themselves as visitors. They only say they wanted me. So when the accident happened, I started wondering, could these men have been involved in my son's death, since they had refused to identify themselves when I requested them to do so? However, Kiptum's father, who had already sensed that something wasn't adding up with the visit, he questioned their identity, and it was at this moment that the men left the premises without introducing themselves to Kiptum's family. Fueling speculations further, netizens have begun to theorize about potential motives behind Kiptum's sudden and tragic end. Rising to global prominence after smashing the world marathon record in Chicago with a stunning time of 2 hours 35 seconds, Kiptum's meteoric rise had undoubtedly unsettled the established orders of the athletic world. Some speculate that jealousy and fear of his unparalleled success may have driven individuals to conspire against him, viewing him as a threat to their own standing. One Kenyan commented on the story of his father asking the government to investigate Kiptum's death. The social media user said, Too many occurrences to just be coincidences. Given the time frames between record ratification and the Olympics, phone must have also been tapped. He was confident that he could go sub two hours and told his dad as much. Amani Juhaku Akarao remarked one concerned individual reflecting the growing unease among Kiptum's supporters. Another social media user said, Yani akuna kazi haina competition ata kukimbia jamani hii dunia. At just 23 years old, Kiptum had already etched his name in the history of marathons, claiming victory in his first two races and setting his sights on a groundbreaking attempt to break the elusive two hours mark in Rotterdam. Tragically, fate intervened on a fateful day as Kiptum lost control of his vehicle on 11th February 2024, resulting in a devastating accident that claimed the lives of both the young athlete and his esteemed coach, Gavies Hakizimana. As authorities are still investigating the circumstances surrounding the incident, the world mourns the loss of a remarkable talent, while the lingering questions of what truly transpired continues to linger in the hearts and minds of many. Who were these four men, and why did they want to meet Kip Tomb? Well, that is a question that many are asking on social media. Leave your thoughts on our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's me next time. Bye bye.